If your taste buds aren't screaming bang bang, your insides must be dead. If you're not bagging your chicken, now that should be illegal. <laughs> oh. Let's get into it. Today we're gonna make bang bang chicken. Cooking time for this recipe will be 20 minutes. Or for those of you who love to follow my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Cheers. To make this recipe, we're gonna need some bang bang. Ah! We'll also need some chicken thighs. Skinless and boneless is what you should ask your butcher for. Just like I did when I went to see Mick the Master Chicken Romancer down at Gippsland Premium Meats. And I picked up this 1.2 kilograms of boneless and skinless chicken thighs. And before we touch the chicken, don't forget to glove up. What's with the pink gloves? You know what they say. Once you go pink, your fingers don't sink. Now to prep the thighs, all we've got to do is get them out of the bag and onto a chopping board. And then using a sharp knife like this lovely eight inch chef's hammer store knife, and we want to cut the chicken into roughly 25 millimeter pieces, like that. And then just place these into a container, or a bowl if that's the way you swing. By cutting the chicken pieces the same size, they will not be different sizes. It's science, but not. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I can't read your minds yet. To season this chicken and get it ready to be the best bang bang you've ever had, we just need to grab a small bowl and into it we're going to add two tablespoons of sesame oil, one tablespoon of chili oil, and two teaspoons of smoked paprika. It's that good I thought it needed its own little air time. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper. Stir this up and pour this over the chicken. Now mix this up until the chicken is all evenly covered. Pop the lid on and we're gonna pop this in the fridge for an hour. Next up, we need to make the basting and dipping sauce. This is what takes great chicken and makes it into bang bang chicken. Into a small bowl, you're gonna to wanna to add a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of Thai sweet chili sauce, a quarter of a cup of sriracha sauce, and a quarter of a cup of honey and stir this up until the ingredients are all mixed and split into two bowls. Put one aside for our dipping sauce for the chicken once it's done and the other one is gonna be for our basting sauce. If you don't have time to baste your own chicken, give Mick my butcher a shout out. He's always happy to help. Now to keep this bang bang chicken slightly authentic, we should be using wooden skewers. So I soaked these inferior sticks of burning in water an hour ago and that'll hopefully stop these from burning. And now we're just gonna stab the chicken pieces onto the skewers, making the skewers roughly the same size. This way they'll cook more evenly and they'll be finished at the same time. If you share this video, you're essentially my minion. Today, I'm gonna to be using my Weber Go Anywhere, or GA as they're known, and I'm going to be pairing it up with my 100 mil riser and a Barchi grill that I brought from Rub and Grub over in South Australia as I want to be grilling over direct heat today. And how I'll do that is by removing the lid. We won't be needing that. I'll open up the bowl vents. This is going to allow as much airflow to that fuel as possible. I'll then put the riser in place, half fill a chimney starter up with lump charcoal, light up a couple of fire lighters, and put the chimney on top. Wait until it's all lashed over and then dump it into the GA. And then using an old pair of tongs, we're just gonna spread the charcoal out along the charcoal grate so we get even heat throughout the whole GA. Don't forget to carefully put the grill back in and put the hibachi grill in place and we'll let this warm up for five minutes. Bang Bang Chicken gets its name from a stick because bang in Chinese means stick. Come back next week and I'll teach you some naughty words. If you ask your friends to subscribe to my channel, make sure they like barbecue first and if they don't, Get better friends. Now, once the grill has had time to warm up, we can place the skewers on it. Now, grab the bowl of basting bang bang sauce and we're gonna coat each skewer in it. And after they've been cooking for about a minute, we just wanna flip the skewers over and we're gonna coat them again in that bang bang sauce. 
And we're just gonna keep doing this until the chicken is fully cooked. And how do we know that? By using an instant read thermometer. As we need the internal temp of this chicken to reach 74 degrees Celsius internally, to be classed as no death chicken. Now, because we are using chicken thighs, which is a dark meat, we can push that internal temp higher to about 80 degrees Celsius internally. And that will help break down that connective tissue that's inside the meat. But don't worry, even though we are pushing it a lot further than we normally would with chicken, it will stay moist, smut. Comment below if you believe Nerf battles and barbecue should be an Olympic event. This bang bang chicken is done and we can get it off the grill. I mean, I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. We just wanna sprinkle the bang bang chicken with some freshly cut chives and then add the dipping sauce we put aside and then dip the skewers into that sauce and eat some. Hmm.